these are the focus lenses. So I'm laser focused right now. Not a shotgun, I'm laser focused. How do you learn what to focus on? Well, there's a great mentor of mine that I owe a lot of my success to. The gentleman's name is Todd Duncan. I'm guessing you've maybe heard, from, heard of him. He's like the godfather of mortgage. He taught me in a class once called the 55-5 rule. So what is the 55-5 rule? What you first need to be able to identify is where are your gaps during the day? Because if you don't understand where your gaps during the day are, then you can't improve them. Improve them, improve them, improve them over and over and over and over. So what I want you to understand is there's an exercise for you to be able to improve your day's efficiency, which allows you to improve your day's effectiveness. So before I did this, my adult dollar per hourly rate is probably somewhere in the neighborhood of a hundred to a couple hundred bucks an hour. As I've learned to master it for doing this for 10 years, and I just did it last week again, what was great about that is my average hourly rate is now $7,500 an hour between my real estate residual income portfolio and then my mortgage residual income, income from there. I highly recommend you pay attention to this next part and you don't gloss this over. It might not be fun the first time, but it's gonna be truthful. So the 55-5 rule is working for 55 minutes, write down what you did for five minutes. Working for 55 minutes, write down what you did for five minutes. Working for 55 minutes, write down what you did for five minutes. Do that for a full day. If you got on Facebook for 15 minutes, you need to write that down. You got on TikTok for 20 minutes, you need to write that down. Your old buddy from college called you and you chatted with him or her for 30 minutes, you need to write that down. If you're honest with yourself of what you do, so have your, your iPhone or your Android, set a 55 minute timer, hit the timer on there, and when it pops up, ding, 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 you've got to write down your notes for five minutes, okay? So it's really that simple. And at the end of the day, what I want you to do is grab three highlighters. Grab a green highlighter, a yellow highlighter, and a red highlighter. So as you go through that, let's talk about the green highlighter. Green highlighter is what did you do throughout your day that made you money? Lock calls and, and referral partner meetings. So CPAs, financial advisors, family will attorney. So what are yellow? What would you highlight on your yellow marker? So to me, a yellow one is a lead app, a, a high trust call, doing a listing agent call, doing a buyer commitment call. What leads you to making money, but it truly didn't make you money at that time. So what is red time? Hmm. Planning your processor's assistant would be one. That'd be red time. Uh, email would be red time. Some people disagree, but my opinion is calculating income would be red time. That's where you build a team to do, but not everybody has an assistant. So as you go through that, you've got to figure out how much time are you spending that you're not making money, which is red time. How much time are you spending that you are leading on the way to make money? And how much time are you spending that you are actually making money? Here's something that's gonna be really disappointing, but it's honest and truthful. When you do that the first time, I will guarantee you, I'll put a thousand dollars on it. And next time you see me, if this isn't it, then come to me and I'll pay you great. Let's maybe make it a hundred dollars. I don't know who's out there, but a hundred dollar bet, if the first time you do it and you're truly honest with yourself, hundred dollar bet, not a thousand. Wait, we're going backwards. A hundred dollar bet. And I'm gonna keep this in the video. I should probably edit it out, but it'd be kind of funny. A hundred dollar bet, if you do it in your green time, is more than your red time and more than your yellow time combined. Impossible. My green time did not become more than my yellow and red time combined for, until probably year two or year three. But year two and year three, I was already making a thousand to two thousand dollars an hour. What I'm trying to help you understand: the more efficient you become throughout your day, the more effective you become throughout the day. The more effective you become throughout the day the more you get paid in the hour because you provided more value in that hour. You're not built as a loan officer to go be your processor's assistant. You're not built as a loan officer to calculate income. You're not built as a loan officer to sit there return emails. You're built as a loan officer to go influence, impact, and build relationships. That's exactly what we get paid as a loan officer. Which leads me to this word that really means a lot to me. It's called grit. The G in grit means guts. Guts to be brave enough to walk in a room full of strangers and establish relationships to be able to be brave enough to be able to ask for the business. R is resi resiliency. When you walk in that room, you're gonna get no's. People are gonna tell you no, no, no. Borrowers are gonna tell you no, no, no. Referral partners are gonna tell you no, no, no. 
but you've got to be resilient. You've got to keep moving forward. And I is for intensity. And the reason I is for intensity, when you move forward after you've been rejected, got to have that same energy. You got to have that same intensity. If you've got that same intensity, you've got that same energy, you can be successful. Now that's where tenacity really comes in. Tenacity is to be able to stick with it. Stick with it because if you go through this and you do this 55-5 rule, now you're going to discover things that you can improve on. And now you've got the focus lenses on. The world is just not going to say, oh, you figured it out. Here's a free ride. There's going to be challenges you're going you're gonna to have to overcome, but your grit is going to help you overcome it. There are going to be people that say, well, if you want this loan to close, then you've got to do da da da. But you've got to have focus and you've got to have grit to know your value so you can be more valuable to everybody around you. So now we've learned how to master the 55-5 rule. You've got the guts to execute the 55-5 rule. Now, here is what a professional does in their business. Every year, what I want you to do, every year you're in this mortgage career, take your biggest weakness and make it your biggest strength. So for example, 2019, my biggest weakness was my past client loans that we didn't do. Only 3% of my database or 3% of my $100 million of loans came from, came from past clients. How bad was that? So I started doing annual mortgage reviews the next year. I started doing annual mortgage reviews in 2019, going into 2020, 37% of our business came from our past clients. 3% to 37% of our business came from past clients. That was new purchases, that was new refinances, cash outs, investment properties, second homes, referrals to their family and friends because I care to take my biggest weakness and turn it into my biggest strength, which allowed me then, what was my next biggest weakness? It was not having wealth partners. It was not having CPAs on deck, financial advisors on deck, family will attorneys on deck, insurance on deck that I can turn around and give referrals to. And what I realized that next year in 2022, my, my new biggest weakness was I didn't have a network of my financial advisors referring to my CPAs, my CPAs referring to my realtors, my realtors referring to my family will attorneys. So if you can do master that, take your biggest weakness every year, every, every November, figure out what your biggest weakness is and start preparing for it in the month of December so your January hits the ground and you're off to the races. What I want you to understand, if you focus on the biggest weakness of your business and to make it into the biggest strength, where are you going to be three years from now? Where are you going to be five years from now? Where are you going to be 10 years from now? Let's think about what kind of career you want to leave behind, what kind of legacy you want to leave behind. That, my friends, is a 24-7 lenses focus. Mm -hmm.